Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about vector addition. Uh, so in many cases, we're going to need to find the total or net force acting on a body. Uh, and the net force on a body will be the sum of all the force vectors uh, acting on the body. And so this goes with the velocities, any sort of vector quantity. Uh, we're going to add the vectors in many cases. Uh, so since force vectors are not scalar values, we simply cannot add up the magnitudes of the forces. We need to account, take into account the directions as well when we add them up. So geometrically, you are going to add two vectors by placing them tip to tail, and then going from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last. Uh, so say we had the following two force vectors, so F1 and F2. Uh, to add these two vectors, uh, what I do is I would move F2 uh, so that it is tip to tail. So I'm going to go from the first vector, so the base of it, to the tip of it, and then start the base of the next vector, go out that way. And so this net um, from here out to here is my net uh, force on the object. So that is the geometric addition of two vectors there. And same thing would go for three or more vectors. I simply add them all uh, tip to tail uh, from first one to the last one. All right, so in practice, the easiest way to figure this out, uh, this geometric uh, piece out, is to break everything into components and then simply add the components together. So uh, F1, I could break down into X and Y components. F2, I could break down into X and Y components. So the x component, so this distance here and this distance here, is equal to the overall x component. And the y components, this y component here plus this y component here, uh, that is the overall y, or net y uh, force in this case. So <clears throat> we are adding the vectors by, we are adding vectors by breaking everything to components. And each of the components, we only need to worry about the magnitudes. And so add up all the x magnitudes, add up all the y magnitudes, that gives you the sum of the x magnitudes, sum of the y magnitudes. If we need to, we can always go backwards, uh, use this fx net and fy net uh, to figure out the overall magnitude of the force uh, using Pythagorean theorem, or the overall direction uh, using an inverse tangent function like we talked about uh, with any vector on the previous page. So in 3D, the process is exactly the same, except we're going to need to break all of our vectors down into three component magnitudes. So sum all the x components to find the net x magnitude, sum all the y components to find the net y magnitude, and sum all the z components to find the net z magnitude. Uh, it is going to take quite a bit more work to break things down into x, y, and z components, uh, but uh, once we have the components, it is just a simple sum of all of those pieces. All right, so that's all we've got for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.